Hey everybody, Dr. Pancake Face here, and in this video I'm going to be going over my pistol build that I like to use in loud heists. So, this is a pistol build, so obviously we had to go up into the fugitive tree here. Uh, now, this build, entirely about dually pistols, dodge, speed, mobility, that kind of shit. So... Obviously, you want to get your concealment down, because if you look up here, we got Sneaky Bastard. Uh, and you get 1% dodge chance for every 3 points of concealment under 35, up to 10%. I think I'm at, like, uh, normally, the with the shit that I use, I think I'm at, like, 9% or something. Um, and then Low Bloat. You get an extra critical hit. So, you want to get your concealment as low as possible. And if you look at the shit that I have on... I normally go with akimbo cross kill pistols with uh, flash hider, micro laser, um, I got the bling grip, the little bit extended magazine, and the vented slide. And then for my secondary, I just have a judge. And I think all I've got is a, yeah, I've got this little guy here, just so that it does more damage. So my concealment is at seven not too bad so I think that the uh, as far as this goes I'm pretty sure that my dodge chance is an additional nine percent and then what would that be 27 percent on that all right either way skills that I like to use I get hidden blade for the extra concealment I get thick skin for the steadiness and the armor um, I get uh, duck and cover for the extra dodge and run and gun for the extra speed, the extra mobility, stuff like that. Um, quick fix, because I want to be able to get my first aid kits out as quickly as possible. Um, here we go. More first aids and more first aids. So I think I'll walk around with like 14 first aid kits. Not too bad. Um, trigger happy. Now I go on ahead and ace this. Just because... Uh, as you can see, each successful pistol hit grants a 10% damage boost for 2 seconds and can stack 4 times. Now, if you're blasting, like, uh, let's say, a bulldozer. If you're blasting a bulldozer in the face, yeah, it's going to build up pretty quickly and you're going you're gonna to have that boost. However, I like to increase the damage boost to 8, just so that when you deal with, uh, you know, other people, like, um, I don't know, let's say you're shooting a... Uh, taser or just a normal guy you can keep that damage boost going for longer because you're not right up in their face blasting them constantly um, obviously I get the low blow I only go the basic I don't go on ahead and spend the extra points in aced um, just because I'm already almost there I usually I like to keep my concealment as low as possible so there's no point in uh, acing it and having the 3% uh, critical hit chance for every one point under concealment um, same with Sneaky Bastard. I mean, I, it's almost maxed out already, so there's no point in me really going ahead and getting the aced. Uh, now, Kimbo. Obviously, I go on ahead and ace that shit, uh, because the, the, the dual wield weapons with the 50% stability penalty fucking sucks. But, dual wield pistols, really good to have. Now, I used to go into here and go up here to get uh, extra shit with the silencers but I, I stopped doing that because A I don't really uh, not a huge fan of going with just the silenced weapons I kinda like the extra damage that you get from having the uh, the flash suppressor or the flash hide or whatever the hell it, what's called on there instead of the silencers um, not to mention when you put silencers on that shit it lowers your concealment even more. Or, I guess, hurts. Yeah, there we go. Hurts your concealment. So, I, I eventually stopped going with the, the silenced pistols. But either way, I get Cat Burglar so I don't take fall damage. Just, uh, just to increase my mobility. I get Cleaner mainly for the extra 5% damage to special enemies. Sprinter, obviously. Gotta have the mobility. Uh, Chameleon. So that uh, I go ahead and ace it 
for the, the bottom there, you're 50%, 15% less likely to be targeted when you're close to your crew members. So I go on ahead and pick that up. Uh, fast hands, just to uh, make things a little bit more convenient. Shinobi, so that I have the increased uh, walk and crouch speed. And I go on ahead and pick up nine lives, because holy shit, it is really nice when that shit procs. When you go into bleed out and then you just stand right back up. Oh man, that is nice. Fucking love it. Uh, I don't really bother with anything in Technician. Um, enforcer. I like Transporter, obviously, because you can walk faster with bags. I mean, I do a lot of uh, Hoxton Breakout with this build, so when you're moving around the servers, uh, that shit, normally you're really fucking slow. But with this class, you've got all the bonuses to, to speed, you've got the bonuses to your walk speed, and then if you go on ahead and get this, uh, you're 50% faster when carrying bags. I mean, it's, it's it's pretty nice. You can move around pretty quick with the bags on. Um, going ahead and grab Underdog just for uh, the extra damage bonus. You don't really need it. Um, I like to grab this for the armory armor recovery rate. And because I like to be able to use my primary weapon and bleed out. Now, this, I go on ahead and pick this up because I always walk around with the judge. And that's a shotgun. So I like uh, I like the extra stability. But don't really need the damage. Because, I mean, it already hits like a fucking truck. Now this, I like to pick this up. This is extremely helpful to have. Because those motherfuckers like to flashbang you all the damn time. <laughs> and when you have this on, uh, you come out of that flashbang pretty quick. And then, uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. Reduces your camera shake by 50% when you're damaged by enemy fire. But, once again, not entirely necessary. I would say the only things that I find uh, more necessary in this tree are the stun resistance, die hard, and transporter. Now, we come into Mastermind. And here's a couple of things that I like to pick up. Obviously, I pick up endurance for the uh, the speed and the mobility and shit like that. Um, leadership. I'm using pistols, so obviously I need to buff my pistols. Um, and then more buff to the pistols. Increases your accuracy and decreases the time to pull out and put them away. Um, I pick up Control Freak just because, uh, you know, it's helpful in a couple of situations and I had an extra point. So, why the fuck not? I think I got up to like, I don't know, maybe like 95 or 96 and I'd already bought all the shit that I really needed. So, the next couple of levels I picked up some extra points and I bought stuff like uh, like Control Freak and tough guy and you know shit like that shit that wasn't 100 percent necessary but kind of nice to have now the perk decks i like to use rogue obviously i'm not gonna do hitman because why would i need uh to get this for the dually pistols if i've already got dually pistols so i go on ahead and grab rogue it's got the extra dodge uh, it has increased headshot damage. Um, right there, you're 15% less likely to be targeted. Really helpful, especially on a pistol build. Um, another increase to your concealment. Very nice. Gets all this extra dodge, and then you get down here, and uh, all your weapons have a 25% chance to pierce enemy armor. Extremely helpful, especially when you're using pistols. Um... And as I showed you before, the weapons that I like to use, I like to use the cross-kill pistols and the uh, the judge shotgun and the melee weapon that I use. I think there's like one other one that has the same concealment, but I like to use a trench knife. It's got a nice amount of damage, nice amount of concealment. Anyways, that's the build I like to use uh, for my pistol dodge build whenever I go and do uh, a loud heist. If you like this video, go on ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.